Sasa hiyo kuanguka ni video imekatika. I was saying it's a kairos moment to bring Kenya into its god ordained mandate and destiny. It's a right critical moment. Right now is when we will decide if we are going into that apostolic mandate or not. I already told you it's a turn point uh, assignment for the church nationally, for the entire body of Christ. Kama wao unajiita uko ndani ya body of Christ, kingdom of God, the church of God. This is your moment. This is your moment. Hear the voice of God calling you. Help it help us make it happen. We are also asking by the way I didn't mention but we are asking for uh, champions even in churches. If you are a servant of God, if you are a youth in the church in the church in your church and you want to be a representative a champion we are calling on you. The church, the church alone. If 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 you servants of God will unite, if you come and you join us, to find it as one as one hand, as one tool. We 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 put in uh, President William Samuel Ruto, the fifth president. We put in the other electoral team that he will work with. We will be stepping into our apostolic mandate. There is no way the church in Kenya... That apostolic mandate is not for a particular denomination. It's for all believers. And there is no way we are sending uh, disciples to other nations. Now we are still in, in, in denominations, uh, segregations, in suspicion of each other. Yeah. We need to to come and and so that God will use us even in other nations internationally in Africa. The Africa is waiting. That revival by the way, the revival in Africa, Kenya is holding it back right now if we don't take action. If we take action, we are releasing the revival into the continent. And you think God will wait forever for our church to in for the church in Kenya? No, no. He has a continent to deal with. If Kenya will stubbornly, the church in Kenya will continue to stubbornly not take up its position. I don't want to, to imagine what would happen. So how can you participate? How can I participate? Number one, do, do all that the Lord tells you to do in support of his agenda. It's not about supporting perspective from above or GC 2022. No. God might have spoken to you about this very agenda. And he might have given you directives that I even have not mentioned, have not entered into my heart. Because he gave them to you directly. Do that thing which God has told you to do in support of this agenda. Do it with strength, with zeal, and with joy, persistently, until we see the results. That's number one. Number two, take the three steps I have suggested in, in previous episodes. Step number one, start interceding for this nation and for that election and for the candidates. Intercede powerfully and we'll be dealing with this in the next episode but one. We want to, to pray how God wants us to pray over this nation. And we'll do it January to August or to whenever the election will be. Personally, I'm even starting before January. So go ahead. God, that prayer allows spiritual intervention, allows the kingdom of God to come and intervene and to to kunyosha, to write the things that God needs to be written in this nation. Number two step. Yeah. Tell everybody, campaign unashamedly, very biased for God's choices. Whoever we have said is God's choices, whoever the prophecies have said is God, campaign for them vigorously. Why? Because the electoral system, the leadership system, is by majority vote. There is no way you become a, 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 the president or sit in any other seat without that majority vote. 
for you to have a majority vote, people must be convinced. So go ahead, share this, speak yourself, do face to face, but make sure you are marketing, you are telling people about God's choices. If you're still wondering how we've determined that uh, somebody is God's choice from prophecy, go to the previous episodes, especially the first one, and where we dealt with, with how we came to the point of realizing that God had spoken and showed us clearly who his choices are. Number three, vote. On the voting day next year, vote. That means you prepare now. Des decide where you want to vote. Go and get uh, registered there. In early, make, make plans and provisions. On that voting day, kuwa number one, kwa voting station. If it means ukesha kwa station, cash up. To, 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 to do God's will, to obey his word. If God told you to ke, ku, ati kesha uru pak na nitakubariki na, na kazi muzuri, ama nitakubariki na buwana, ama nitakubariki na mtoto, uru pak would be full if, you, if God told you that. Now he's telling you, on voting day next year, vote and vote for the, my candidates, my choices. That's action number three. So prepare. Another thing you can do, the third thing, join GC 2022 and put action to your faith. Join us, put action to your faith. Become a representative, become a champion, volunteer, offer your expertise. Whatever, whatever road, like the road of Moses, whatever road you have in your hand, use it for the success of God's agenda. This is the time you can use it. Whatever road it is, it's, it wasn't just given to you uh, for the sake, for the sake of your own enjoyment solely. It was given you, to you also for the, and mainly for the service of God. So now God is telling you, as 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 uh, uh, Esther's uncle told her in the Bible, in the book of Esther, God prepared you. He gave you those roads for such a time as this. So, be of use in the kingdom. Join this movement, this loose caucus, GC22, and let's push God's agenda. It's not our agenda. Finally, finally, so I can close, I want to recognize the many fathers and mothers in the spirit, in the body of Christ, who have contributed, who have built me up. A lot of stuff that I have shared with you and are not just things that God laid on my heart directly. He gave it. He gave them as gems to those servants. Yeah. I, 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 there are many. I can't mention all of them here. I, I remember especially Mr. Gideon Odiambo. He was the vision leader at Generation 2063 back in 2016-2017. I was a member of that group. God bless you. God find be, have mercy on you. God increase you. God, God do good things to you and to your family. And to all the others, all of you, not just to Gideon, to all of you, you know you have, some of you don't even know you touch my life. Bishops, pastors, apostles, prophets, God bless you mightily, all of you, for your service, not just to me, your service to this nation and to this great continent of Africa. I remember you always in my prayers. God, may his face, may you never move away from his face. May you always be in front of him. May he shine upon you for what you have done in his service, for your obedience to him. Think on these things. As you think on them, don't just wish, don't just hope. I am appealing to you, don't, don't just only wish and hope. It, it won't help us. Take action. Take that action now. I'm looking forward to receiving your email notifications. Or just put it, drop it in the comment box. I'm interested. I want to be a, a world rep. I want to be a campus champion. A corporate champion in a group or in a company. 
in an instant in a prayer group online there's 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 a friend of mine who's who's doing online he, he, he doesn't have to be the only one you you also could have a following utilize that following for god not for me for god me i'm already blessed i'm already taken care of for those of you who are praying for me thank you for those of you for pray for the entire team i have a team i'm not doing this alone pray for them all of us yeah so until next episode god bless you shalom